Hi, I'm Katrina and I'm here with Pisces Pet Emporium and today I want to talk to you about oral health for your cats and your dogs. So one of the most important things you can do for them is to keep their teeth and their gums healthy. A couple products that work really well to do this are a basic toothbrush and a basic toothpaste. So what you want to do, just like humans, you want to use just a little bit of the paste and brush in a back and forth action. With dogs and with cats, it's really hard to get inside the mouth, so just really concentrate on the outside. So for the inside, you can provide them chews and ropes like this one or like this tug this rope toy which I really like and my dogs really like and it really helps to build off some of that day-to-day -day plaque and to also take off some of that plaque that has accrued over time. This one's really good for getting in between the teeth to take off anything just like our dental floss is for us. It works really well. Just make sure that as they're chewing it down you are throwing it out if needed. Other things you can use are greenies which are a good treat day to day, depends on what size of dog, they're good for dogs from five pounds upwards. So just make sure that when you are getting greenies or any dental chew that you're getting them size appropriate for your dog. Other things you can try are hard bone type structures or elk antlers. I like elk antlers because they don't splinter off like bones do. And they're pretty long lasting unlike most bones or unlike rawhide. Rawhide can actually expand in the gut of your animal so you need to be a little careful with rawhide. Elk antler, as long as you throw it away when it gets about this big, you're good to go with your animals. So something I like to use with my dogs is this microfiber finger cloth. And what you do, you just stick it on your finger and you can use any toothpaste. The one I like to use is this advanced veterinary cleaning paste. Once again, you just put it on there. This one's really easy to use because you're not worried about jabbing one of the toothbrushes into their mouth. With us, we can control where we're putting this. With our little canine or feline friends, we have a hard time doing that. So this works really, really well just to get your finger in there and to work away at the plaque or any of that bad stuff that's in there. And it helps with breath as well. Make sure that all the plaque and stuff is off. Something else that helps with the breath are breath sprays and we have dental sprays as well. We have stuff that you can put in their water like the Slurpin' Fresh and we have an entire line by Tropicain called Fresh Breath. This stuff works really, really well. You put it in their water and as you lick it away, it also breaks apart stuff. We have special dental gels that you put on their mouth and then you leave for half an hour. The best time I would recommend doing this is right before bed, put it on their teeth so it can break it away overnight and then you're not worried about them slurping water to break it away. It's just like when we go to the dentist and we get special treatments, you want to wait a half an hour like the floor. I know sometimes people have problems with their cats or their little fussy dogs like Yorkies or Chihuahuas. They don't want to eat their hard food. This is really important for them, however, just because it is working their teeth and making them actually work their gums so their gums and their teeth are going to be healthy. When you're only giving them soft food, you're not letting their teeth work and then their teeth are going to start rotting out and they're going to start getting unhealthy and that's when you're going to have to start taking your dog to the vet to go get regular dental cleanings. Dental cleanings can run for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So what I recommend is when you get a kitten or you get a puppy, start implementing the teeth brushing right away. Even if they're eight weeks old and they're going to go through teething and stuff so they're going to be popping out all those baby teeth anyways. Stick your finger in there, get them used to something in their mouth just to make them more comfortable. Otherwise, you're going to have a really hard time helping your dog or your cat with their dental issues. So come on down today to Pisces and come and check out all of the awesome products I've just shown you and come and talk to any of our knowledgeable, helpful staff members so they can show you new ideas and new tricks to help your life, your cat or your dog's life, happy and healthier. See you then!